Advanced Installer offers you the possibility to easily add an updater into your packages. In a project, navigate to the updater page. In here, enable check for updates using Advanced Updater. The first thing we need to configure is the updates configuration file URL. This is the URL where you will keep the updates.txt file from which the advanced updater will check. As an example, I will place this file on my website. The next steps are optional and you can leave them as default, but you can select where the downloads will be saved. You can also enable GitHub integration, allow users to configure options from the updater wizard and so on. Also for this example, we are going to go with a manual updater execution for which we will create a shortcut. You can also check to have an automatic type of execution by adding a window schedule task. If you are interested, leave a comment down below and I will make a separate video regarding it. Now if we navigate to the files and folders page, we will see two new files added the updater.exe in updater.ni. The updater.exe is the executable which will handle the update operations and the updater.ini file is the file in which the previous configuration we have performed are saved into. Right click updater.exe and select new shortcut to install file. I'm going to name this shortcut as check for updates and click OK. Now we have a shortcut that I previously mentioned created. Click on the build and install the MSI. To demonstrate on how the updater works and how to create the updates.txt, let's navigate to the product details page and in here I will increase the product version to 2.0. Now let's save this project separately and go to file, save and save as. I will just add a different name to this project. All that we want to do now is build a new MSI and click on build at the top. Advanced Installer will ask you if a new product code should be generated and yes, this is necessary. So let's click on generate new. Now that we have our version 2.0 MSI, basically the update for our version 1.0 that we just installed, it's time to build the updates.txt file that I previously mentioned. To do this, open Advanced Installer and navigate to New Updates Update Configuration. In here, click on New Update and select the previous version 2.0 MSI that we built. The first thing we need to do is define from where the installer should be downloaded. So I'll paste my website address once more in here. I also want this update to be considered critical. Going on the second tab, the update installer, this is where advanced installer computes the SHA 256 signature and MD5. And as you can see, the file path is the path to our version 2.0 MSI. The update install detection tab is used to define what should the updater search for to see if the version 2.0 has been installed so that the installation is considered a success. In this case, advanced installer automatically detected the registry key which must be present on the machine from the version 2.0 installer, so I'm going to leave it as it is, but you can customize it any way you want. Next, I want to add some release notes like description features, enhancements and bug fixes for version 2.0 and this will appear to the user when the updater detects a new version on my website. The update targets tab is used to define specific application versions which you want updated. For example, if you only want to update applications from version 2.0 and up but leave version 1.0 untouched. You can define this here. If we leave it empty, the updater will update no matter what version the user has installed on the machine. The Auto Close Applications tab basically lets you close different applications before the installation starts. I don't have any applications to close, so I'll leave this blank. Once you have done all the settings, click on Build and save the file as updates.txt on your machine. 
Now I will upload my version 2.0 MSI that we previously built and the updates.txt on my website via FTP. If we now click on the check for websites shortcut that we have previously created in version 1.0 and installed on our machine, we can see that our updates have been found and the advanced updater shows all the update notes that we written for the user.